Hello there, my name is Shannon Brinkley and I'm gonna show you how you can make and maintain your very own dye, fabric dyeing journal so that you can keep track of all of your different experiments, all of the different colors and effects that you're able to create from your natural fabric dyeing. So we start with a sketchbook. So this is any size or shape that you want and um, I like to have blank pages on which to work. So let's take a look inside. So the purpose of your dye journal is to keep track of your different experiments and to know how you are able to achieve the different colors. So I always have the date, I have what I'm dyeing with, I have the quantities that I've used of the extract or whatever the dye source is, how much fabric, um, and um, potentially if I'm using, you know, how much water. Uh, and then, so this one, for example, I say that I doubled it, and then the process that I used to achieve it. How long did I heat it? Did I add any um, modifiers? How did I mordant it, et cetera? And then I cut a swatch, however large or small, for some of them that I feel like I may want to use as a base to then over dye in another dye bath. So maybe I could cut a piece of this off and dip it in an indigo vat, for example, to see then how this red looks when dipped in the blue indigo. Um, so you, I might have some bigger pieces here, or you could just have little swatches if you just want to show the results of an experiment. But I've written down what type of fabric it is, and um, and then I've just glued it down. I've just glued the fabric swatches down to keep it in place. And so the purpose is just to keep track of all your different experiments. You're able to, you know, write down, sort out any math or any planning that you're going to do. And that way you can go back and see what different, what colors were you able to, to achieve. You can have your different recipes that have worked particularly well um, written out and um, and the different processes. And then let me show you back here. I am keeping track then of all of my colors. So here we have different purples and violets, reds and pinks, oranges, yellows, and I've numbered each one and have written, you know, how I've achieved it. And then if we look up here, I'm also keeping on this bulletin board the same fabric. So I'll cut a little swatch for each of these and I'll put the number on the other side that coordinates with my dye journal. And then I've placed them around here and my goal is to fill out and have a complete a recipe for every single color on the color wheel. So this obviously isn't required, but it's just something fun that I'm doing. All right, so have fun with this. I would love to see pictures of your dye journals and let me know if you have any questions. Have a beautiful rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.